So that is the acoustic part for the verses of the song It's Been a While. It starts off with an A, and this added D here. And the picking pattern is pretty much the same for all the chords, the way I play it. So it starts off with the open A. And then all I do is I move my middle finger to the C, all the other fingers stay the same. And it's the same picking pattern. Then to a G. And then to a D. So basically your third finger pretty much never moves, so I'll play it slowly for you. Same chord, except we start this one on the G. To a D, to an A minor. So it's. So also, as far as like the picking pattern, the strumming pattern for the song, um, there's definitely different variations of it. It's this is I kind of chose one that I feel kind of uh, suits along with the other guitar part. So, but depending on which recording you're listening to, some of the live ones to the studio, it it definitely varies a little bit. Those are the chords that go along with it. So you kind of get the the general feel for uh, how the song is played. That's it for the acoustic parts. Let's move on to the electric guitar now. is how the intro to the song is played and that goes through all the verses and reintros and the outro of the song. The tuning for this song is one that I used a lot on Break the Cycle which is G sharp, C sharp, G sharp, C sharp, F sharp, A sharp. It's kind of like a drop D from here down, down a half step with the added G sharp or A flat, whatever you want to call it. So the first chord to the song starts with your ring finger on the 14th fret on the 5th string, open 6th string, open 4th, and 12th fret on the 3rds. And you strum that. Then you pick the 12th fret, pick the 14th fret on the 3rd string, then you pick down, and then you, instead of playing the fifth string on the 14th fret you play it open. You really can't, it's kind of more of a timing thing to be able to get to the next chord because of the way the song's played, so that's how I play it. So it's... Again. And that's a pull off to the next chord, which is 10-10-9, uh, starting on the 10th fret. And you don't play the sixth string now, you want to stop the muting of which I kind of do with my middle finger here of the ringing uh, sixth string. So you strum that, play the open second string. Uh, with your pinky you play the tenth fret on the third string and pull that off so it's... And then again the open fifth string so it's... Then you do the same pattern, but you move it to the fifth fret, so it's five five four. But there's no uh, pull off this one, so it's the 
last chord starts with an open A string, and you have uh, 7th fret on the 4th string, and the 5th fret on the 2nd uh, and 3rd. That's a pull-off though, which is the 7th of 5 on the 2nd string. And then open 4th string, so... So the whole riff slowly is played like this. So up to speed, it just sounds like this. is the verses. The chorus starts off basically a five chord starting on the 12th fret. Slide it down to the third fret. to barring on the 5th fret, on the 5th and 4th string. Mute it. Open D. And do it an octave higher at the 12th fret. So, it's like this. Last time, you don't go to the 12th fret octave higher, you just land on the open D and it goes back into the verse or to the bridge, which we will learn next. Now we will work onto the bridge to the song. And it starts at the 5th fret on the 5th and 4th string. So the first hit, you hit just hit the lower two strings, and then the second time, you add the 7th fret on the 3rd string. So it's... Stop. Little mute. Which is basically the open D and you're adding the lower D on the 6th string at the 5th fret. A, which is the open 6th string, and barred at the 7th fret on the 5th and 4th. So that part goes like this. That's the bridge, and now there are some little solo sections, some octave parts that go over, just some colorful textures that add to the song. So let's move on and learn those. So now we're going to work on some of the textures and the colorful parts that just kind of add to the song. One of them is a little tagline that starts halfway through the verse. And it's very simple, uh, but it just kind of lifts the verse a little bit. And it goes like this. simple but it just like I said it just adds a little bit of color a little texture going on underneath the vocals and all the other guitar parts so it's just uh, seventh fret hammer on to eighth fret on the uh, first string and pull it off 
to the ninth fret on the third string. So that's all it is. It does it twice halfway through the verses. And the last time around, um, it starts on the halfway through the bridge through the last, the third uh, verse. The other part, this little colorful part, that part rolls right into an octave part that goes on um, underneath the chords in the chorus. And that's played like this. So we start at doing octaves with the index finger on the seventh fret on the fourth string. And your pinky is an octave higher on the third string on the ninth fret. So it's slide to the tenth fret, same, and the fingering, the uh, figure stays the same. So it's five to seven, back to five. Three, two, slide up, and slide back down. So it's, and then it repeats. That's the octave part that goes on underneath the chorus. Now the only other little bit that happens is happens in the bridge and again it's a little octave part with a little single note uh, tag line that kind of just loops it around. So I'll play it first then I'll slow it down for you and show you how it's played. So it goes like this. So, again, octave, starting at the 10th fret with your index finger, slide to the 7th, slide back to the 10th, to the 5th, so it's, slide up to the 7th again, slide back to the 5th, to the 3rd, open A, which again is the open 6th string, 7th fret, 5th and 4th string. So slowly it's... So the single note part that comes after the octaves starts with an open 2nd string. Again, slowly. So that's the single line that does it. So I'll play the whole riff through slowly. So it goes like this. One thing that I do is I just let all the notes ring out on it and let it create that dissonance. I mean, I think that's kind of part of the character of it. So when you hit that open A, I just go and just let it ring. So up to speed, it's like this. That's it for all the secondary parts, octaves, and color textures for the song.